Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. Hi, we're the Elliots. We're from Godfrey, Illinois, and this is our Minneapolis Moline UDLX OPN. A tractor collecting couple, Kent and Jane Elliott are providing a good home to lots of tractors of all colors. From 1991, when we seriously started collecting till 2003, we went from one, I think we had one little tractor or two, to 90. So, you know, we, we collected, you know, nearly eight, nine tractors a year during that period of time. So, yeah, it, it's sort of addictive. Kent's addiction was first to cars, like the 67 Firebird that his son now races. Then the Elliots took to collecting unusual tractors, a one-cylinder Porsche, and a Ford 541 offset to name two. But with the looks of a luxury car and the heart of a tractor, this Prairie Gold machine is the one that's guaranteed to draw a crowd. Well, this is probably the finest tractor in our collection. It's a Minneapolis Moline UDLX OPN, which is the open version of the UDLX with a cab. It's like a convertible. Oh, this one is my favorite tractor because I always wanted a convertible. A lot of people don't think it's a real tractor. They think that Kent made it up out of a car. I know we went to this one parade and some, a lady came over and she says, that's not a real tractor, that's a car that you just made into a tractor. I said, no, it really was a tractor. The UDLX OPN definitely is a real tractor. You may have seen the more typical UDLX, the first farm tractor to come from the factory with a cab. Altogether, Minneapolis Moline built 150 of these fancy models back in 1938, but only a handful were actually made without the cab. That makes the Elliott's tractor rarest of the rare. We only know of two others. We don't, Leroy Wonder, this gentleman that told me about it, has one, and I think a gentleman up in uh, Walter Keller, a big John Deere collector, has one up in Wisconsin. And those are the only three we know of. Overall, it was just supposed to replace a pickup truck or a car, and you'd be able to plow with it and disc, do your field work. It wasn't very successful. They didn't make many of them, but sure made it a collector's item. The Elliott's tractor was the 17th UDLX built, with the same strong four-cylinder engine found in a traditional Mini-Mo Model U. This was a full three-plow tractor in the field. Yeah, this uh, UDLX and UDLX Open, which this is, had a number of features which were different from other farm tractors. Now, the first thing you come to is in the front it had a bumper and most tractors didn't either need a bumper or have a bumper but since these would drive on the road they had a bumper. Uh, this grill is similar to what you'd see in some trucks back in that period of time. The headlights uh, were not sealed beam they have removable bulbs that's before they had sealed beam I believe. Now they do have high and low for driving on the road so when you drive down the road and somebody approaches, you can turn them to low. With a starter, a speedometer, club compartments, and more. The UDLX, with or without the cab, was full of features other tractors just didn't have. Uh, I had a horn. Of course, because you drove it on the road, you might need a horn if somebody got in your way or somebody's chickens or something ran out in the road. The big feature of these tractors, either with the cab or without, like this one, was this buddy seat. Uh, if it had the cab, there was a door that opened right here and you access through the door, came up between the seats. Well, this other seat, rather tastefully put in here, it folds, folds out as soon as the passenger gets on and flips up. But as long as there's just one person in there, you just keep it in the stored position up here on the side. In fact, the sales literature had Miss Minnie Mo introducing the comfort tractor with a big cushion seat for two. I can sit on it and I can just watch the people from up there riding along and I don't have to worry when you're driving. You're always worried that you're going to run into someone or somebody's going to run out real fast in front of you and you're going to have to slam on the brakes or something. But this one I can just sit there and look all around and just wave. <laughs> so it's a lot of fun to ride in. Why no cab on just a few of these tractors when Minneapolis Moline was pushing comfort? Well, the UDLX was expensive for its day, 
so letting farmers buy it without the cab and then add it later as an option was probably a sound sales tactic. Either way, all that luxury and style made the UDLX a famous failure. Farmers were thought to be sissies if they rode around in anything that looked stylish or like this, so they wanted something that was more like the old, you know, working behind a team of horses or really basic, you know, so it looked like they're really being a hard working man of the earth. They were ahead of their time and like Kent said that they uh, were too expensive for the people back then. Even though it's been more than 65 years since Minneapolis Molding built this beauty, thanks to folks like the Elliots, the days of the UDLX still roll on. It's a, it's a very much a if not a showstopper, it's a crowd pleaser. People are just really, really interested in it.